He is known for his campaigns in Germania and his role as an ancient Roman general and politician. He was the heir of the emperor's heir and held various political offices, including consul and proconsul. His name is Germanicus Julius Caesar. In the annals of ancient Rome, one name stands out, Germanicus Julius Caesar, a legendary general and politician. Born into a prestigious family, Germanicus made a name for himself through his campaigns in Germania. The agnomen, Germanicus, was bestowed upon him in honor of his father's victories in the region. Adopted by his uncle Tiberius, who later became emperor, Germanicus became a member of the influential Gens Julia. His marriage to Agrippina the Elder, granddaughter of Augustus, further solidified his connections to the Julii Caesars. Germanicus was not only a prominent figure in Roman politics but also a beloved leader among the people. During the reign of Augustus, Germanicus experienced a remarkable rise in his political career. He became the heir of the emperor's heir, allowing him to hold the office of quaestor at a young age. As a consul and proconsul, he commanded a significant portion of the Roman army, leading them in campaigns against the Germanic tribes. His victories included avenging the Roman Empire's defeat in the Teutoburg Forest and reclaiming lost legionary eagles. Germanicus was hailed as the ideal Roman, admired for his youthful bravery, virtuous character, and military prowess. However, Germanicus' life was not without challenges. While in the eastern provinces, he clashed with the governor of Syria, Nias Calpurnius Piso. Amidst their feud, Germanicus fell ill in Antioch and tragically passed away at a young age. Ancient sources suggest he may have been poisoned, but no definitive proof was ever found. Despite his untimely demise, Germanicus remained a beloved figure among the Roman people. Revered for his noble character and remarkable military achievements, he was often compared to the legendary Alexander the Great. Germanicus Julius Caesar's story is a testament to his enduring legacy in ancient Rome. His campaigns in Germania and his victories against the Germanic tribes solidified his reputation as a skilled military leader. His untimely death only enhanced his status as a beloved figure, with the Roman people admiring his virtuous character and youthful bravery. Germanicus' impact on Roman history remains profound, and his name continues to be synonymous with greatness in the annals of ancient Rome. In AD 13, Augustus appointed Germanicus as commander of the forces in the Rhine, an important position that held one-third of Rome's total military force. Germanicus was tasked with maintaining order in the region and protecting Roman territories. However, his command was met with challenges and mutiny among the legions stationed in Germany and Illyricum. The soldiers of the Lower Rhine, led by Aulus Cicina, were in mutiny due to unpaid bonuses promised by Augustus. Frustrated by the lack of response from Tiberius, they revolted. When Germanicus arrived, the soldiers expressed their grievances to him and even attempted to proclaim him emperor. Despite his popularity with the troops, Germanicus remained loyal to the emperor and sought a peaceful resolution. To appease the legions, Germanicus used his own funds to pay the soldiers, fulfilling the promised requisitions. This act not only satisfied the demands of the troops but also secured their loyalty. However, Germanicus went a step further to solidify their allegiance. He led them on a raid against the Marsi, a Germanic tribe, where they destroyed villages and pillaged the surrounding territory. This successful raid further enhanced Germanicus' reputation as a capable leader. Back in Rome, Tiberius recognized Germanicus' achievements by granting him membership in the Sodales August Alesh, a prestigious priesthood. However, Tiberius also felt a mix of joy for the suppression of the mutiny and anxiety over Germanicus' growing popularity. The Senate, in Germanicus' absence, voted to honor him with a triumph, celebrating his victories and leadership. For the next two years, Germanicus led his legions across the Rhine, seeking to avenge the defeat of Varus at the Battle of Teutoburg Forest and not to expand Roman territory. He launched successful campaigns against the Chatti and the Bructory, recovering lost eagles and ravaging the German countryside. Germanicus even visited the site of the Battle of the Teutoburg Forest, burying the remains of fallen Roman soldiers before continuing the war against the Germans. In his final major campaign, Germanicus faced Arminius and his forces at the Battle of the Weser River. Although Tacitus claims it was a Roman victory, neither side achieved a decisive victory. Germanicus withdrew his forces and returned to the Rhine, leaving behind a fortified area to secure Roman territories. Do you want to explore more politician or military strategist? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.